big shots to fool me around. You can give me anything you've got, big sack of potatoes and walk a lot. Good night. Hello, guys. <clears throat> What's up? Time to play some chess. Um, I'm going to play this three check tournament. Uh, that is about to start. Oh. No players joined yet. Weird. Okay, five minutes until the tournament starts. Um, I'm gonna join. Let's be the first one. And I'm going to, in the meantime, I'm going to play a game or two. Let's play this game. To warm up, Tyson Chess. Waiting, no, nope. not playing. Okay. Good evening, chips. How are you doing? Half a half a minute. I'm not sure. I prefer zero plus one than than half a minute. Although my increment is not working very well. 
I see. Have to be careful. My day was a little bit long. I was working. Ooh. I won't on time. Okay, not the best way to <laughs> to to warm up for some for blitz tournament. Yeah, but my day was okay. It was uh, just a long work day. Mm, one plus one maybe makes more sense. Did I get a lot of work done? I was basically working on the same thing the whole day, so... <laughs> In terms of number of items done, no. But I made a lot of, of, of progress in that task. So... So yes, it was a product productive day mm. e3 was e3 is a little bit suspicious maybe the rook goes here maybe I want to go there but I cannot because I allowed that okay I, I can now I, I'm not sure if that's useful for anything I want the knight here for some reason, but not sure if that's the best. So he didn't take. I will try to preserve the bishop pair. Although the knight goes to c4. Maybe I can push it to c4. Okay, if he goes himself I can sneak into that square and keep the bishop pair for a couple of moves uh, or trade here and wing upon c4 a6 is hanging I'm not sure if yeah I don't see any any special problem in, in taking it We must leave. I need to be careful. Queen d4 check. Then uh, I need to be careful after the check to defend against knight e2. So let's do this. Attacking the knight also. Let's enter some squares. I think the tournament started. So let's go to the tournament. Yeah, okay. 11 players now. That's good. And the tournament just started. <clears throat> so I think I've I probably didn't play um, any 3-check since the last week. You enjoy watching 3-check? <laughs> I think last time I, I played 3-check was on stream, probably a week ago. 
in this type of tournament. Um, yeah, it's a variant I enjoy more than others. Especially when I'm tired, <laughs> I prefer a three check than Crazy House, for example, because three check games last their short. Oh, we're playing here against number one in the tournament. So should I berserk or not? Let's not berserk. What is that? Can I go already here? I'm gonna take it. What else? Okay. Feels like I'm falling into some kind of theory here. If I take with the knight, which is the logical, he's gonna have one check with the queen. I'm gonna give him that. Oh, the check on h4 is much better than on f6. For some reason I was only counting on queen f6 check. Ooh. Now I'm... I'm probably lost. Darn. I can see how I'm gonna lose in every variation. Yeah, there's no legal move that saves the game here. Let me resign. Mm. That wasn't good. But the game is short, as I mentioned. <laughs> Thanks, Jackie. See you. Yeah, if I was too premature, because I'm, yeah, I probably just need to keep developing on castle first. If I forced knight g4, and then even though it seems I'm okay, knight takes f2 is much much better than bishop takes f2. You know, in this lines. Sometimes I allow bishop takes f2 check. Even though it's a check, then black doesn't no longer have the bishop. But uh, after knight takes f2, both the queen and the bishop are good pieces to check the king. Hmm. So maybe queen e2 was better than king takes knight. But I guess e5 was a mistake already. But after e5, knight g4, d4, bishop b4, bishop d2, knight takes f2, queen e2 maybe was the way to go. Anyway, it's our turn to be to play with the black pieces now. Um, I tried to do the same against this guy. So he played knight c6 here, I think. <laughs> I'm I'm going to learn some theory. And um, here he played. He didn't play a6. What did he play? I, I would play a6, but what did he play? Knight f6 immediately. Yeah, I think he played knight f6. Is it correct three check notation to write third check with uh, with the sign of a checkmate? Yeah, I guess it's. I guess it is. I mean, I, I call it checkmate. 
it's it's actually checkmate. So I guess it's correct. Okay, bishop b5 is already different from what it what I did. So we're on our uh, our own now. Bishop there, bishop b4. This seems similar. The difference is he's gonna castle. So castles, castles, bishop, bishop g5, maybe, and I don't like my position. Bishop g5, bishop e7 is my idea. And if e5, then I'm not sure, because e5, if I move the knight, bishop g5, queen e8. <sighs> Doesn't seem right. E5, knight, E5, knight, E4. Uh, I don't like it either. But if I take on C3, he takes on F6. And that's even worse. So I think I, I need to play knight, E5 or knight, E4 or some crazy stuff. Okay, let's try this. But knight, knight to E4 now seems really strong to me. Bishop g5 first also, but maybe I have an additional option of going f6 there. He took, that's strange, okay, let's take back. What else? But uh, I'm, I'm not understanding why, why did he take there? So bishop f6 now, sorry, bishop g5 now uh, will Okay, okay, okay. So now I basically have two options, either g6 or king h8. King h8 seems safer, although knight e5, etc. <sighs> but uh, g6, bishop h6 maybe, but there's no checks, so... Okay, now this is a big threat, because then after takes queen h5 check, probably wins on the spot. So, big time threat there. Yeah. My pieces are totally misplaced. Okay, let me calculate. Queen h5 check. Came back to g8. It's just one check. I'm gonna lose some time, guys. So he's probably winning after bishop takes g6 instead of queen h5. Or queen h5 and bishop takes g6 now wins. That also wins, yeah. I totally miss that move. So I see how he's... <laughs> okay, I'm making some progress because in the first game I lost without even seeing the shot. And now I'm making progress. I know how I'm going to lose before losing, but I just don't know how to stop it. Okay, let's see if I can do better. Um, and I berserk, why? Why, why, why did I berserk? <laughs> um, old habits, old, old habits. Then I need to play fast. Yeah, three checks, it's it's very tricky. And it's about initiative. If you get to check your opponents a couple of times, you're already winning, probably. Okay. Okay, I don't want to allow knight takes f6 check, so let's do this. So I gained some space, which is usually a good thing in 3-check. Space gives you more chances to, to attack. I'm gonna keep that space a little bit controlled. 
not anymore. At least not to lose space in the center. Okay. I'm trying to hint at some move like that at some point. He's not gonna sacrifice the queen on h7, I guess. And if bishop d3, I will play just g6. g6 anyway, just to prevent any further issues. That's a good move. And so far, position is equalish. No easy way to, to check. Or any side. The knight on g3 is terrible, and the bishop on d7 is terrible. So I guess this is roughly equal. Although he's trying to open the position. I guess I'm going to go for the trades. I understand my he, he got rid of his bad knight and <coughs> my bishop is a bit worse than his, but still feels very very equal and I don't see how either side is going to do some checks that's really unexpected that's a pawn I will take ah because he's going for the crazy attack okay that's a good that's probably a good approach because I'm um, too short on time so now every end game is winning for me with the pawn on b4 I just, don't, I just need not to blunder three checks in a row which I, I'm not happening to be able to do <laughs> in Yeah, but how is he going to do two more checks? So he got one check, but he sacrificed a lot of material for that. Okay, 19 seconds left. I need to speed up. I really need to speed up. Allez. Now this is winning. This has to be winning. I don't even need to go for the checks. Okay. Your cheat code and switch it back to normal chess for endgame. I mean, it was just one check, sacrificing the rook for just one check. And previously he sacrificed the bishop to prevent me from defending with the queen. But in the end, it's just one check. So... Hey, Vilatic. Good to hear. I enjoy Code Wars. Unfortunately, I only enter when I have few times, so I do just easy problems. Usually, but I think it's a very nice uh, 
place. Okay, so I lost to this guy already, and if I remember correctly, that was the second game in the tournament. When I tried to emulate my first opponent and I didn't achieve it, so let's change a little the setup. No, no way. Do you want to do the, the same? No. I'm not following the computers, guys. I'm, I'm basically not interested at all. I mean, if I don't follow the Humans uh, Soccer World Cup, why would I follow computers' <laughs> championships? No, I'm joking. Um, but I don't, I don't follow, I don't follow either of them. I don't have time to, to follow everything. Actually, I've been following these days, today is the rest day, but I've been following the US Junior Championships. It's a great tournament and I enjoy a lot uh, Robert Hess and Tatev uh, commentaries. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll have another round. Uh, lots of fun, much better than computers. <laughs> You know, yesterday it was a very wow. um, some some very interesting endgames happened in the US Juniors Championship uh, yesterday's round. Oh, oh shit! What is that? That's one check. So he has a second check. I see that. But then what? Okay, that's the second check. What is his third check and how should I avoid it? Okay, it's not immediate, so I guess I can just take here. How's he gonna get the third check? I don't see it. Better than computer sounds like a lie, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, better from from a human point of view, in the sense that you can learn more. I mean, it's better for learning, uh, better for enjoying also. And you can see the nerves, the human reactions, the time control, the time travel. The, I think it's much more enjoyable, better in that, in that sense, not in the sense of chess perfection. Uh huh. So maybe a castle. Maybe a castle. Yeah, let's castle. Lila is the best for learning. She plays like a human. Wow. Okay, let me take this. And now. Okay, this was easy. Yes, I won again. <laughs> Lila, better than human players in terms of entertainment? Okay. I cannot... I understand I cannot say I don't follow that and then opinate about it and say you're wrong because okay I guess I need to first <laughs> watch Lila's game games before uh, trying to convince you that human players are better in terms of entertainment but I think I, I'm not wrong if I say that uh, 
Ben Feingold's uh, games. Or I mean, uh, Lila cannot speak, right? Lila doesn't uh, speak while while she plays chess, does she? So, so in terms of entertainment, uh, I think there are definitely humans that will be more, much more entertaining than any computer. Anyway, we're playing here against number one and very high rated uh, player I'm trying to play solid and safe and so anytime e5 will happen at, uh, yeah, at some point e5 will happen I can see that yeah there we go a 94 I expect or that 94 now of course <coughs> this guy is gonna crash me <laughs> this guy is gonna crash me look at this position now a knight enters here no 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 this is not good this is not good I'm gonna defend f7 but I have the feeling that a series of he, he has two checks in a row already so I really need something strong to prevent all of that and that's not the way because now I allowed him the third check this is bad holy shit he saw everything he saw everything that's one that's two and three wow this guy is so good actually let me see wow it's strange his rapid rating is 1900 only 1900 and uh, over 35 games and <laughs> he's played 1500 three check games so he's really good at three check as you can see but he didn't even think about it he, he played he blitz out every move in this game Tough tournament. Very good people playing here. <clears throat> and me. Very good people and me. Yeah, actually, my defense wasn't that great, and I am understanding this pattern of uh, allowing the push to e5 and then bishop d3 defending with g6 i think he's very <laughs> he's probably very familiar with and he knows how to attack that and bishop takes g6 yeah probably a, a very common pattern do you remember orange space drink no Orange space drink. What is that? <laughs> okay, that queen is pointing to the G, G, the, the H two square. But is he gonna sacrifice the queen at some point? Let's see. He was top player on leeches three check for a long time. Ah well then deleted his account. Well well no, I don't remember him. But I've been playing three check and as as many variants I've been playing this one for like four or five months now from the or maybe six or seven from the beginning of this year more or less 
So that knight wants to sneak in here also. So he's doing a good job <laughs> and I'm doing shitty moves. Uh, I need to start doing something. Okay, it's not a such a big deal as I understand. So now I'm threatening e5. d4 okay, this is one check d4 knight f6 c4 e6 knight c3 bishop b4 e3 yeah castles bishop d3 b6 e4 bishop e7 e5 who plays e5 in the Nimso Indian I'm not an Nimso Indian player so I probably cannot answer your question um, okay, I'm running a little bit behind in time. So King F8 maybe? No. He's allowing the check. I guess it's not a big deal for him. I'm reinforcing the idea and maybe Rook C1 next. King F8 for example. So I'm basically trying to do this. Holy, holy moly. There must be, there must be a win here. Okay, knight takes d4, is a try, but I take on b7. Okay, that's also a try. I guess I take on b7 again. Or even this. Ah, knight takes f2. It's just two checks. Knight takes f2, it's just two checks. <laughs> but I'm always missing the third one, so <laughs> I'm probably wrong. How did you decide on your opening repertoire? You say I don't play the name, so what do you play? Why? Um, good question. Um, But maybe we can wait until I finish this game. Um, yeah, so basically I play e4 as you will know boom there you go let's do the second check it's nice oh didn't expect that now I have to be careful. There we go. So basically I started playing e4 from you know from the start when I started playing chess I played a lot of e4. Um, and then you know as a beginner I found it was easier for me because I I have good memory so for me it was usually much easier 
to remember a series of fourth moves than concepts or <laughs> structures. So for me it was much easier to, to learn openings, E4 openings, than those openings, you know, than closed openings. So that doesn't mean I didn't study some uh, lines also with uh, D4 or C4, G3, B3, etc. But um, it was mainly I was mainly studying them with with the black pieces <laughs> first of all, and also um, studying some forcing lines like the Budapest Gambit or or stuff like that. Not like the Nimso Indian. For example, against the French, I. Uh, I went for the most direct approaches like uh, advanced variation or <coughs> or some sidelines but uh, yeah repertoire I mean it's studying openings is very very hard you can study as much as you want, you will have always something to study. Um, let's see if I don't get into trouble here. And I basically focused my, my repertoire on E4 lines, that's the thing. How did I get involved in the Benoni? Yeah, basically, <laughs> as, as I'm mentioning, with the black pieces. That's how I get I got involved with the black pieces. Because even though, even if you are an E4 player, I am, uh, you need to face when you play black. You need to you will need to face uh, D4. So so you need to come up with, with some ideas and some lines against uh, D4 and. I really like the Benoni in that sense. Okay then. It's gonna have one check, but it's not the end of the world, I guess. I've already taken a piece. He's go for it. He's gone for it. Okay. Now it's two checks for him, so I'm in a critical position. So he's going to try and sacrifice the queen. That avoids uh, check. Need to be careful with opening the position because he has two checks already. Uh, what did I say about opening the position? I cannot take on b5, probably. No, I cannot. So now I'm desperately going for checks. Let me try there. He wants to take here and follow up with bishop takes e5. But then I will just move my king. He's thinking a lot, so he probably comes up with something sophisticated that I need to solve very fast. I'm nervous. Now. Okay, I don't see anything especially great about that move. I think I'm gonna have check next move. Okay, that's one check. Yeah, and he resigned. Yeah, his last move was, I mean, Bishop B2 was very suspicious. 
so yeah, I've, I've basically never tried the Nimso with black, which means that I basically never <laughs> played it with white. I mean, I've played it with white sometimes, but never really studied it. And you, you cannot. Uh... Oh, number one again, <laughs> again now with the white pieces. Maybe I need to try and do my best. That way I will learn something. Because last game he defeated me very, very fast. He goes for this, which is strange. I'm gonna I'm gonna sacrifice the piece. I'm gonna get one check at least. No way. Is he going to sacrifice the queen? Or e5 maybe to play some bishop h3? Wow, he... Now h5 maybe? What? Why did he do that so fast? So here I'm losing or not? I'm giving a check. I'm giving him a check. But here h5 Okay, I guess h4 I will have g4, I guess. And then h3. Okay, let's put the queen here then. Okay, he's gonna have one check. I'm gonna give him that check. But it's just one check. Okay, he's gonna. I see a second check now. <laughs> this guy is so good. Yeah. Oh no. Something is wrong, something is broken in my brains. <laughs> why am I so bad? I mean, why am I... I need to see... I mean, especially in 3-check, I need to suppose that a strong player will, will make a threat every move. Why didn't I see the threat at all? I didn't see it at all, but queen g2, queen f3, any move. I just thought queen g6 was necessary for him to defend against queen takes f7, but I, I didn't see his threat. What? Why am I so blind? And I'm up on time. He was berserking. That was too bad. I think I, I probably had the advantage in that position. So anyway, anyway, going back to the repertoire discussion, I don't, I don't really decide on specific repertoire. I just, you know, repertoire. You, you, you keep building it during your career, and um, I think it depends. Well, it depends on your level, of course, because there's different ways to prepare in different levels but it also depends on your tastes and 
and also on what you discover about your own game. Um, okay, let's hope I'm not doing crazy stuff here. So I'm, I'm always trying to to learn new things when I have time. In the last months I didn't have time, so it's a pity. Lately I have too much work and other stuff different from chess, uh, so I don't have time. But when I have uh, when I have time to study, I like to study new things. So I. The Nimsu Indian is definitely one thing I would be looking to study. It's a very well known opening. Many great players use it. And uh, it's also um, out of my comfort zone, so that's also a good. Uh, a good point to start studying it. So I'm threatening the knight and basically threatening some checks also. I think I'm gonna take the knight. So take the knight and if queen c5 I have bishop... well queen c5 is not possible so I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm gonna take the knight. Okay, it's opening the diagonal, but the, the diagonal cannot still be used. So if queen here, uh, I guess I have bishop e3, just to prevent. Or maybe I already have some shots on e6, g7, etc. I'm going to defend the pawn on e5 allowing knight d4, which I missed, but hopefully threatening my own stuff. So if knight d4 I might go bishop e3, allow one check but not more than that. Okay, he's forcing me to sacrifice the piece. And that's probably winning for me. Mm -hmm. Okay, this has to be winning. You don't know the squares. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I think it's queen takes. I trade queens on knight e6. That's two checks already. And then king f8 probably only move. And then bishop e3 and rook f1, something like that. I should be winning there. If you say king g6, you have to work out where g6 is. Okay. But that's normal, I guess. It happens to... It also happens to Cuartillo. It's... Uh, so, so this kind of variant is the one with which I lost in the first game by playing e5 very soon instead of bishop b5. Um, I'm gonna take and castle. And be safe. At some point, you you, you start knowing your squares. <laughs> Definitely, it's just a matter of practice. Uh, 
But you know Lee Chess has this tool to practice the squares. They give you the name of a square and you have to click it. So you can practice with that if you don't want to to practice by playing chess. Okay, I should be looking for three checks instead of looking for winning material. But I guess this is okay also. <laughs> I'm too greedy. I'm too greedy. Would you be able to show a little bit more of the bottom of the board so I can see the letters? Uh huh. Uh, good question. <laughs> good question. I guess I need to. First, I need to address this thread. If I allow Queen H4 in the end of the line, I'm toasted. So, but I don't want to move the knight either. I guess I need to. But... Okay, after this game I will try, or after the tournament maybe, <laughs> to show the bottom of the board, to show the letters. Um, bishop there, what's that about? I'm gonna sacrifice a full rook, and I'm gonna offer a queen trade. That's how I play chess. Because I'm going to check him like a million times at some point, not now. Okay, that wasn't my best <laughs> combo. But life is going to be difficult for him. If the knight jumps, I take with the knight, and there's yeah, I, I was I was calculating that. I'm losing on the spot. Good moment to resign. Or okay, let me try this. Yeah, rook here and it's done. Yeah. If it takes here, I can't even take the, the, the rook, so it's actually very stupid what I'm doing. Because, okay, I have one tempo now, but I can't, <laughs> I can't do any threats. Let me resign. How am I in the tournament? I'm in the fifth place, 10 minutes left. Place number three and four are away. Okay, I guess I'm eight points behind the podium, so I would need three games, so I cannot make it. Unless I berserk the three games. And I win fast. And I'm playing against number one now, so that, that won't happen. This was the guy that killed me in the twice. <laughs> he killed me twice, but I'm not going to allow. Bam! He's going for that. Crazy man. Crazy man. That, that that's two checks for him. No way. I'm gonna show him how to play without a queen. Oh, did I berserk? Yes, I did.
No, no. Quintex G7. Quintex G7 was winning. Okay. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Everything's fine. Material up. Life is beautiful. Nothing's wrong. Allez, allez. Uh, way too much. What did I just do? Check. <laughs> so I needed to win three games berserking, that's one. Good queen sack, good queen sack in that one. And I thought I was lost after queen takes this, allowing queen takes this seven. Yeah, queen sack in the in the third move. Yes, Bjoratic, that's it. But but also against a guy that is much much better than me. Okay, uh, it's taking too long to to get another game, so I'm out of the podium for sure. <laughs> nice quote. That's very <laughs> fits very well. Okay, now after the tournament I have two things to do. Put the the letters of the squares and analyze that game. I should probably not analyze it. There's probably a lot of mistakes. Hey, why don't I get a game? And my, my technique in the end was very suspicious. I thought I was winning like very easily and <laughs> I almost didn't do, didn't win. I should also watch a little game uh, not on the stream now. Sit back and bath in the glory. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that was a nice victory. Okay, we're playing against Nasty Turtle. Mm, E3, okay, A6. Let's be funny. Oh, I didn't berserk. No, no, no. 
forgot to click the Berserk button. Am I wearing a Shoggy t-shirt? Uh, no, it's not Shoggy. It is from uh, Turin's Game of Life. No, allowing knight takes f7. Why did I allow that? Haha, with queen e7, he's out of theory. I'm gonna take that. And now, if I go here, bishop b5, I take it. It's just one check, right? <gasps> queen a4! Shit! I, lo I lose. No way. so stupid that was so stupid a6 d6 I mean. okay I allowed one check for free let's not even, let's not blunder upon also okay risks my must be taken. I have the feeling I played a lot of games with black in this tournament. Anyway, uh, I have to resign. And uh, then the tournament is over for me. Yeah, and the parents are close, and that was a huge blunder d6 in this game. f5 didn't help either. Uh, not very good games, but at least this one was a good result even though it wasn't it was a little bit suspicious the thing is I, I remember the, the the first game when he crashed me so I played three games with this guy the first one he crashed me with this very same opening night here and I played c6 I think or e6 I can't remember and this was the first game. The second game I played with white. And I had a good position and then I blundered queen takes e4 check. But in the first game I played against him, uh, he played white, he played this, and I played something like e6 or c6. And that was the game where bishop back to d3 happened, I played g6, then he started attacking me with bishop h6, king went to h8 and then Finally, he blitz out, bishop takes g6, crashing move, and he went all, you know, it was very straightforward for him. So I decided to, to grab the center and from the beginning. That's why I played e5. I don't usually play e5 in this um, three check variant, but okay, I had time to go for, for this. The problem is, of course, this, and it was the fourth move. It was the fourth move when I sacrificed the queen. Hey Jackie, welcome back. So, so it was a practical choice. Actually, I don't know what the engine says about this. Queen takes d5 is the best move, guys. Queen takes d5 is the best move. It's plus 3 still for white. But the next move is h5 plus 5 for white. So yeah, queen takes d5 was basically forced. The thing is, if you take with the pawn, then 
this is at least two checks and it's going to be game over very soon so I had to do with the queen uh, now this is still plus three for for white but queen h5 I'm not sure about that I would probably go for a more flexible approach being able to, to attack in both sides now of course I need to defend this pawn the good news is I have two pieces for the queen so if I manage to um, regroup my pieces I can maybe defend this is a lonely queen and the queen does never want to sacrifice for a check because it's too much material and uh, he has no checks yet that's another thing that's good for me but I should be lost anyway knight f6 and castles and here and yeah this was very risky uh, e4 but I thought okay if, if I have two pieces for the queen I need to use them uh, as ASAP and threaten some, some checks I have some ideas with bishop h2 and knight e4 Um, but of course it's very risky because he's gonna have that bishop also so there, there, and f4 and I took the knight here which is suspicious and I expected pawn takes actually and I was going to sacrifice the bishop immediately the idea being if he takes with the king it's probably very bad for him so I guess queen takes was possible and ig4 the queen moves somewhere and I hope to have something in this position I don't think I have but let's say queen somewhere let's put it I don't know let's say here I was going to look for something like this maybe so I already have one check and maybe if I can get a second check I, I might have some some tricks going on that was my idea but after queen takes uh, knight there, queen has to move bishop here with uh, this idea to follow what, what does computer say after queen h5? ok I'm gonna turn the engine on although my computer might crash <laughs> uh, queen h5 I guess you mean here well here best move is knight f3, c4, b4 or e4 or knight e2 and after queen h5 it's already plus 1.2 so and knight c6 yeah of course so yeah computer is not very happy about this move and it says the advantage is plus 1.3 for for white so it's already not so easy for white yeah the thing is queen h5 wasn't very incisive so hey Jackie I'm fine I'm I just finished the, the tournament <laughs> not very good tournament but at least I won this game um, it's been a long work day for me so I'm not going to be here for a long time But I'm, but I'm fine so we got to this position where I took the knight and he took with the queen and now here the blunder comes because <laughs> let's let's see what the engine says about this position the engine says it's around equal plus 0 0.1 <laughs> or plus 0 0.2 now with queen h5 0, 0, 0, 0 now with queen h5 so the engine says queen h5 and this is three three zeros I guess I can repeat with knight f6 or something like that but yeah computer says it's totally total equality now after queen h5 but after the blunder yeah of course I'm winning although my conversion wasn't that that precise yeah of course I wanted this that's why I played f5 and king move out and if I can take here I'm fine 
but I saw that if I take here he can get probably three checks with this move so <laughs> yeah gotta be careful about it because now I, I, I cannot take the rook because he has two more checks and if I go here I think this is winning rook takes knight and rook g8 are both forcing two checks so that's why in this position I didn't take on h3 and I went king h8 now if rook takes I can probably not sure yeah I can just take the rook sorry the difference is the position is the same but it's one check one check less for him because rook takes g7 was checking the other variation so here I take it and this is just two checks for him not three that's the difference that's why I played king h8 so I think this was an um, important move to see even though we were playing in we were both in time travel so so yeah I I'm not a good three check player I mean <laughs> I, I think I'm decent but uh, you can see some guys like this one is very it, it's mu he's much more experienced than me in three checks so in other kind of positions uh, he has more patterns and he blitzes out uh, sacrifices that are amazingly good but at least some some ideas I, I already know about three check and this is a very typical idea when he was uh, threatening a sacrifice with check you allow the same sacrifice without check and the whole line is different because now he just gets two checks instead of three uh, so he defended h3 and now I overprotected g7 so that he, he he's not even going to to get uh, more than one check with any with some sacrifices there and now it's just two knights up so so yeah game was a little bit suspicious well I'm attacking sorry here in the when I enter with the knight I'm threatening check so because of because of the two extra pieces I can probably sacrifice the knight at some point I can bring the other knight and sacrifice it on g4 and I'm gonna get checks but I didn't want to rush it because I, I saw the clocks were more or less equal I just wanted to play fast so I gambled a little there we repeated twice that position, so I uh, I needed to stop moving the knight. And and yeah, this was very tricky decision by him, probably taking and forcing me to to find a continuation here was what I would do. But I understand this is not very funny for him. So he didn't, you know, he played it fast. It's not something I would expect before, but he played it so fast that I understand he didn't want to open this this line now I see that uh, the problem is he's opening it anyway so I can go here immediately now and that should be game over and, and that was a very bad move by me pushing a2 here <laughs> because he just defended so yeah probably rook c6 was much better but I'm so winning that uh, that I'm still winning. So attacking again, uh, threatening again knight f2, so he protects and now I finally use my rook, rook on the 7th and now the point is if he goes here uh, I can check as I did in the game or I can probably go here because this is not good for him, this is just one check at most for him so he's lost so check and he didn't resign he just took here and threatening to two more checks here so he prevents I can probably sacrifice here but okay didn't want to rush it and here by the way I didn't see I had a winning move here in ig3 and I went rook c8 which is of course winning also but this is check next move so yeah anyway um, okay, someone called this the. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, the uh, immortal or something like that? You, you said. Yeah, the immortal. The tr 
the, the Immortal 3 check game. <laughs> yeah, more or less. It would be better if if it was a little bit more quality chess, but okay, it's okay. Okay, let me try to show the squares. Uh, hi, by the way, Lish... Lish... Ah, Lish Filas. <laughs> I think I said it. Um, I'm gonna try to show the names of the squares. How can I do this? This... Crop. No auto leaf. trying I think I got it let me see no I save and now should click this button and now you tell me if you can see the names of the squares I hope you can. Um, why are why am I watching this game? Because during the tournament, it was a, a high moment of the tournament when you know this guy crashed me twice. He was leading the tournament. He was crashing everyone, uh, especially me, <laughs> and. I thought I was I was gonna lose this game and uh, I decided to berserk because time it was just 10 minutes left in the tournament I needed to win three games so it was like the moment and and also in the third move I decided I needed to sacrifice the queen <laughs> so it was all the circumstances so it was a very high moment when I managed to win the game and someone called it the immortal <laughs> three check this game so we decided to have a look at it after the tournament that's why <laughs> anyway for those of you that are not familiar with the scores uh, you can well I think with practice you, you you're gonna you're gonna get it but also you can go on leeches you can practice it uh, here on learn coordinates you can practice the coordinates I think yeah so this will you can choose the color white black or random and okay let's take white for example uh, knowing the chessboard coordinates blah 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 start training and, and they'll give you They'll give you the names of the squares, G7, H2, D6, and you have to, to just click them. It's as easy as that. And they will say how many do you get. 6, D8, G5, E2, D3, D7, F8, D4, E3, D5, C3, G4, H1, F6, D4, B6, F4, A3, E6, B5, H6, E5, F7, H2, F4, B3, E6, B2, G3, H5, A4. Okay, and that's 40. Um, I, I, I don't know how, how much time is it. It was maybe one minute or maybe half a minute. Probably half a minute makes more sense. And, and you know, I'm, I'm not very fast with the mouse. It's just I know where the square is. When you, when you tell me F, F8, I know where F8 is. So that that's why I'm not at all I'm not fast at all I expect for example some 
fast people like Penguin, <laughs> Andrew Tang. I mean, he he probably does the he probably doubles this because he's too fast with the mouse. I'm not a fast uh, I'm not a fast hand with the mouse, but I know where the square is, so so I don't need to find it. Your average score is eight. Okay, keep practicing. So, if 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 you can get more than ten of average, <laughs> that would be that would be an improvement. Lama Lord gets over sixty regularly. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, maybe if I train, but I prefer to train chess <laughs> than this. But uh, yeah. 60 seems like something I could eventually do at some point. Uh, anyway, 8, but you mean 8 in average, not like, I mean, not like every every time. But uh, it's as you say, if, if, if you don't know where the squares are and you need to find them, it's, it's normal that you take time. It's the same as if when, when you play a bullet game and and you enter a position where you start calculating instead of, you know, you don't know what to do because it's too crazy position and you run out of time. It happens to everyone. If, the moment you need to think, you need time. So if you need to think to find the coordinates, then you're going to take time. That's normal. Just coordinate speedrun stream when... <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I challenge uh, Quartillo <laughs> to something like that. Okay, what to do now? Um, <sighs> yeah, I'm tired also. Um, Probably going to end the stream and do more tomorrow. Hmm. We have a three check game here. <laughs> do you think your student could get 30 in coordinates? Hmm. I don't know. Not very easily, not very, not very soon, definitely. Not very soon. So I like the idea to sacrifice the, the queen on, on free check. I should explore more of that. Uh, by the way, did I allow queen a4 again? I allowed queen a4, uh huh. He didn't see it, or. It was very suspicious. Very suspicious play by both of us. Mm -hmm. So, C4. Is this too risky? A pawn grabber. So I, I think Quartillo can get probably around eight also on average. Okay, C5, I understand. I understand the idea. Uh, I'm not sure if that's uh, great or not. I want to go here. Then it is very stupid there. I, I don't understand IB3 because. Uh, okay. Ah, he's just protecting this check, I guess. Okay, I wanted to go here. I'm not sure if I want to go there anymore. So for the moment being, I'm gonna. blunder upon. 
here and take it though. Okay, let's defend the pawn. Now I decided. I, I finally decided to go bishop e6. Better late than never. Let's bring the knight here. I have a good feeling about this position. I have a good feeling. I think I'm probably winning. So check this. Yeah, I think Quartillo doesn't have a lot of practice also on, on, the, on the coordinates, so he probably can reach an average score of 8 or something like that, even maybe even worse. Um, okay, allowing this anyway, so what was the point? <laughs> What's I mean I see one, two, three, four, five, six mates. Six different mates. Let's go for Queen G1. And rematch he offers. Okay. Three check stream, <laughs> all all three check games tonight. I won't remember how to play standard chess. Okay. Here. Yeah. You know the strong guy did this to me before. I took it, but I'm not sure if taking it is the best. Let's let's take it. He doesn't play e6. That was weird. I'm looking for sacrifices, but I don't see them. A castle. I'm gonna defend. Okay, so far so good. Holy, holy moly! So if I move the knight, bishop takes h2 and knight g4. Come. Let's see. So he's got one check and one piece. But we'll see whose king is better, I guess. Mine is not so great. But I don't see an easy way for him to keep checking me. I think I'm taking too many risks in this game. Yeah, a little bit suspicious approach. Whoa, that's one check for me. And now be careful because this is winning. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Suspicious, very suspicious. Okay, and he left. He doesn't want to play more. Maybe, uh, maybe b6 was a mouse leap because b b5 made more sense. But here, I think he has to go king f8. Ah, king f8, queen e8, also losing. Ah, he's back and he offers the rematch. Okay, let's go. Uh, 
I'm gonna play C5 this time. Okay, I like the the knight on f4. The knight doesn't go to f4 now. I expected a bishop trade. Um, okay, knight e4 seems logical. He has one check, but I don't think he's gonna sacrifice that easily. He's gonna prepare it a little bit more. Like that. Still I don't I, I don't believe it, so um pa -pa -da -pa -pam. Yeah, now if I move here he's gonna take it. Yeah, so Maybe this isn't great. Maybe it's time to sacrifice. Why not? Time to sac. Time to sacrifice. I'm too crazy, I'm too crazy. This feels like game over, unless he has a great move now, which I don't see. So is, is the chat frozen or I just lost the chat? I think I just lost the chat. No, I didn't lose it. Okay, chat is here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, you chip. You you were just silent. Okay. So this checks this check is winning. I have check every square he goes to. Too tired to type, okay. <laughs> so King D2 I have Queen takes G5. And any other square falls for a knight jump. For a knight check, I mean. Okay, okay, so he offered me the rematch. This is going to be the last game of the stream. I can tell you that. It's the fourth game I play with this guy. And we're all tired. So tomorrow is going to be uh, another day. Maybe tomorrow we can play standard chess. So if he's going to play knight d4, I'm going to take... I probably don't want to bring the knight to c3. Let's do just this and I'll eventually bring the knight out for through a different square. Okay, that's a pawn. Huh. But what's his idea? I mean He's not gonna sacrifice the queen, so wow, e5 is really tempting now. 
e5 is tempting, queen b3 is tempting, queen c2 is not tempting. Okay. Let's go e5. It's too tempting to not to do it. Rawr. Oh man. Position is too open, I, I, I have to admit. Position gets opened and anything can happen. He has two, two bishops. But I think my my king is safe. I'm calculating a crazy line. It is so crazy that it's funny, but rook c1, he can't take my queen. If I didn't miscalculate. Of course he can take on g2 and have two checks. The problem is queen takes h 3 check also and I win. So, okay, okay. I'm still threatening. Okay, this is one check. Let's let, let's forget about the crazy lines. This has to be winning. Threaten all sorts of checks. That's how you win in this game. And I remind you, this is the last game of the stream. As soon as I finish, as soon as I win this game, I'm going to end the stream. Well, I can show the... the oh, he took. I can show the, the other line, the, the line of the sacrifice. Why did I take the check for free? Uh, because it, it was easier. One check now. And that's it. So let, let me just show the other line, the line that my opponent didn't play. The queen sacrifice. I'm gonna show how it was working. Here, rook c1. Now the idea is if he takes here, I go knight b5 check. And now he has two options, either king b8 or bishop c6. King b8 is more or less easy to see that I have two more checks. And now I can choose between rook c8 or knight c7. And bishop c6, I have this check and I, I, I had to check these three moves, but I have check after all of them. Because here and here I have knight jumps to check, and here I have this pawn. So, so yeah, that was all winning. And after bishop c6 first, I went for the free check because, yeah, why not? He's actually threatening to take here and take here, although he's probably losing again. Yeah. Um, the problem is the best move. That is not. Uh, I, I guess queen h3 is the, the best move, but the next best move is probably knight b5 and not taking the bishop because if I take the bishop, then I'm not attacking as strong. Yeah, I should be winning anyway. But knight b5 would have been a nice move to do. Again, sacrificing the queen. Yeah, it was a sound sack. I, I calculated everything when I played rook c1. The problem is <laughs> I didn't have... I had like 20 something seconds left in this position, so I didn't... I wasn't going to calculate everything in this other line. <laughs> That's why I went for the... <laughs> for the free check here. And yeah, now he's lost. e6 is actually... 
not the way I would do. I would probably move the king to some place. Yeah, the problem is he might be scared of this. Yeah, no, he's losing everywhere. And I think maybe 5 is a nice move. Because if I, again, if I take the bishop, he can try to block. But uh, knight b5 threatens all kinds of checks. So, yeah. Okay, guys. It was nice. It was uh, well, not so short uh, stream uh, for being only three check games. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks for being there. Bye-bye.